to prove a line is tangent to a circle, you need to prove the hypothesis of the converse theorem, which simply states that if E1 is equal to C1, right? Or E2 is equal to D1. Then we can conclude that A, E, B is tangent to circle C, D, E. Now, when we use this converse theorem, what you need to have as your starting point is you have to look up right in the diagram for the possibility of adding the interior angles of a triangle or triangles using given information concerning corresponding angles on parallel lines, alternate interior or exterior angles on parallel lines, exterior angles, cyclic quadrilateral, exterior angles of triangles. Then if ever you are going to use um, triangles, make sure those triangles have common angle or angles, right? And they include the angles you want to prove equal. Now, as an example, if in the diagram, A, B, C, D is a cyclic quad, T, D is a tangent, A, D parallel to B, C, angle B, 3 equals to B, 5, and T, B, S is a straight line, prove that TBS is tangent to circle ABCD. So our main task is we need to show this, but to do that, we need to have our converse theorem. The converse theorem is the one that follows, right? If number one, angle B3 plus angle B4 is equal to angle A. That means I'm saying um, this angle is equal to this angle, right? Or again, angle B1 is equal to D3. B1 equal to D3. Or B4 is equal to D2. B4 is equals to D2, right? All these three, you can show one of them. Then if you manage to do that, then you can conclude that TBS is tangent to the circle. But I'm going to show all the three so that you see how am I going to use those tips that I've already mentioned. So looking at our hypothesis number one, we wanted to prove that, but for me or anyone else, you should use the corresponding angles on parallel or you can use the exterior angles of triangle um, A, B, D. So looking at the corresponding angles, why corresponding angles? Because I must make sure that the fact that I wanted to show an equality, right? This is an equality. I must make sure that on the left and right, wherever I'm considering, am I having that? So the corresponding angles, you would see that this angle, right? And this one are the F angles. That is their corresponding angles. Hence, I've seen that at least B4 is on the left-hand side in the hypothesis number one, and angle A is on the right. At least I've started somewhere. The other things will follow. Then we are saying this is the starting point. Then from there, you look at the expression itself, you ask yourself, okay, where am I leading to? I don't need this um, B5. What I need there should be B3. Then the next thing is to try to check how B5 is related to B3. You realize that we are given 
um, this information that B3 is equal to B5, that information is given, then I simply substitute and I've arrived at my um, hypothesis that I wanted to show. Then I can conclude that BS, PT, I mean TBS is tangent to circle ABCD using the converse theorem, right? Now, number two, I want to use the exterior angle of um, triangle ABD, right? That exterior angle of triangle ABD as it were, it is all this, because my triangle is this one. That is my triangle. And an exterior is an extended side of one side of what? Of that triangle. Therefore, the actual exterior angle becomes this one. That's the angle that is exterior. So if I could add those, you would see that the B3, B4 is included. Then again, when I add these two, um, that is this one and this one, right? Again, my A is there on the opposite side of the equal sign. This is what makes you choose those things because they are involving the things you want to show. So with that, this is where the statement comes from, right? Then from there, you look at what is it that you don't want in that expression. I don't need this B5. I don't need this D3. Then the next question, how are they related? For them to disappear in that expression, number one, they are supposed to be equal because they are on the opposite side of the equal sign. So I wanted to establish their equality. Then if you go to the diagram, you realize that um, B3 and D are related. This is B3 and D3. Why? These are the Z angles, alternate interior angles. So they are equal, right? Then this is what makes me come with this expression. Then again, this other following expression is given so that from two and three, using the transitive property of equality, I can safely conclude that D3 is equals to B5, which is exactly what I wanted to do in this situation, right? So they disappear and finally we arrive at where we wanted to show. We have arrived at our hypothesis, right? So we can conclude TBS is tangent to circle ABCD by the converse theorem, right? So, right, I'm through with hypothesis number one. I'm going to hypothesis number two. The hypothesis number two simply states that B1 is equals to D3. This is my B1, D3, right? Turn code theorem, isn't it? So for me now to show that I have to use alternate interior angles, right? Right, when I'm using alternate interior angles, it's because also from the given information, I know about the relationship between B3 and B5. Then again, from the diagram itself, if you could notice, this is a straight line, right? And this is another straight line and they intersect at B. That means angle B1 and B5 um, are the same. Why? Vertically opposite from intersecting two lines. So that is what makes me now to start by using the alternate interior B3 and D3. They are the same. Then from there, this is the given information. Then from one and um, two, you would need again to realize that B1 is equals to B5. 
vertically opposite. So if that is the case, working with this part, B5, B5, and on the right, left-hand side, we have B3 and B1. So they are equal by transitive property of equality. Then if they are equal, then where there is um, B3, I can put B1. This is exactly what I did. And eventually, I arrived at my hypothesis, which is this one. Then I can safely conclude that TBS is tangent to circle ABCD by converse theorem. Right, hypothesis number three, the last one. Right, we are now saying angle B4, right, this one, is equal to D2, this one, tan code. Right, and the code is BC, which subtends the angle D. Right, so for me now to relate those, I have to think of the in exterior angle equal interior opposite angle of a cyclic quad because I'm given that ABCD is a cyclic quad. So the exterior angle, like I said, you make sure that the side is an extension of one side of the quadrilateral and the side that is extended is this one, right? Therefore, the exterior angle becomes this one. That is the exterior angle, which is equal to the opposite interior. The fact that the side AB and BC contributes to the exterior angle, the legs of the exterior angle. Therefore, it cannot be part and parcel of the um, legs of the interior opposite angle. That means that angle is equal to this one, right? So if it is equal to that one, all what I need to do is to write that down. This is what is written here, right? But then after writing that, you then look at where I want to arrive. You realize that where I want to arrive, I don't want this B5. I don't want this D3. So they must be equal. You look back to the information, then you see that, like you have seen previously, that um, D3 is equal to B3, alternate interior, and given B3 is equal to B5, then transitive property, you show that, or you have shown that D3 is equal to B5. So they will disappear because they are on the opposite side of the equal sign. And eventually we arrived at our hypothesis, which is this one. Then we conclude TBS is tangent to circle ABCD by the converse theorem of angle between tangent and chord is equals to angle in the alternate segment. Right, let us look at key takeaway from this presentation. Proving a line is tangent to a circle using the converse. Angle between tangent and code is equal to angle in the alternate segment. The starting point is to look up in the diagram for the possibility of one, adding the interior angles of two triangles. In our problem, we didn't have that situation, but in other problems, you might come across it or you will come across that or using given information concerning corresponding angles on parallel lines alternate angles on parallel lines exterior angles cyclic quadrilateral exterior angles of a triangle right and we note that each time you work with the triangles make sure that the triangles have common angle or angles and they include the angles you want to prove equal that is very very important with this i thank you for watching i hope it will help you but please like comment share and subscribe